Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farm Rainbow Stream here. Here we are continuing on from this is where we left off in the last episode. So yeah. Last episode we harvested our first soybean field, the big fields. We got twenty seven thousand leaves from that, so with the small field here, we should get up roughly thirteen and a half thousand or so. That's gonna be two well we was three combines loot. So yeah, we'll get the worker off. Also, in last episode, we expanded our chicken empire, so originally we had 150 chickens. However, I spent 50 grand on a new chicken pen, or 52 and a half, and on 500 chickies, so we can get some eggs from that. So yeah, in this episode, we are finishing off the harvesting, and then what we're going to do is rest, go to November. Got all these bells to sell, so... Silage, got three bells of those. Got a couple of straw bells and some flour to sell, so yeah, that's going to be done next month. However, I want to start doing field work, so just looking at our equipment. Is this a direct drill? No, it ain't, so good thing you're here because we're going to need to cultivate these fields, our old soybean fields. Yeah, I'm thinking of doing soybeans again. I'm saying that'll be ready in June or July time. I think it takes about six months to do so. November, December, January, February, March, April. Then that gives us a few months to save up and that because best time to sell our soybeans is June and July. And then yeah, for the final part of the year, I'm thinking of doing something like oats and sorghum maybe for those eight months and that, whatever. And then, yeah, just sell everything. Then, as we go to the 1990s, this is going to be on a new map. Haven't picked a map yet. Got some ideas now. I want to test on a few maps first of all. Because, yeah, yeah, so don't cut is good than that, but to be honest, I want something a bit more of a challenge. I know that's a funny thing to say, but I'm honest, like, these fields are super cheap. Like, I want to get 145 grand, get 55 in this episode. Yeah, we was on good route for that until I spent 52 and a bit grand, but even then. It's, yeah, because we got 150 or so thousand litres of silage. We sell that now, we're going to get 50 grand for that. Plus, things we got straw bells, we got our flower to sell. Our flower, how is that? At the moment, I know the prices start to go up. So yeah, we're looking at a thousand eleven hundred. So that's another fifteen grand. And yeah, even maybe a bit cheeky in that. But I'll say fuck it. Let's sell our seeds and that seeds and that, and just go from there. I know that's gonna be a bit of a cheekyish, bit of a cuntish way, maybe to some, but screw it. So. I think once we get this part here done, I'm going to go on to the worker, get the harvesting done, and then we'll go from there and sell all of our bales.
go, we are done. So now we're just setting up our bells. So I've got these final four bells. And yeah, these are a pain to deal with. So I spent 31 grand on this trailer. And yeah, we're going to be selling it. Of course, we're not going to keep it. We, uh, we need 145 mil. Unfortunately, some selfish farmer must have caught wind we was going to purchase our land today because we have a look at the potato fields. That is gone. So lovely. So and yeah, just check in first. Any coal vein contract for it yet? Nope. So yeah, we've done plowing on field 90. We've done the bathing on 64. Just need to collect the bells now. So. That we'll come and deal with in a minute. Okay, it needs to be a little bit lower, so let's go and grab you like so. There we go, is that lower enough? See, I'm definitely overloading this bit. This bell loader. There we go. So yeah, we need now 135 grand. Let's go. Just unstrap and strap everything. And yeah, because of the weight of these bells, I decided to take our more powerful tractor and act. So yeah, let's go to the sell point and see how much we can get for this. So, alright, <laughs> that was a bit of a little jackknife there. So yeah, I'm going to Moves on my way down, and I'll see you at the forest dealer. And there we go. So yeah, thirty, yeah, thirty slice bells, and sixteen straw bells. So this should make the bank account go up quite a bit. Yes, yeah, so it's absolute max price. And wait a minute, why didn't everything sell? There was a couple of bells that did not sell. Oh, don't say it's got an all pear shape because, yeah, technically I had to get some bells in because I had the issue with a trailer and that while setting things up. So I had to get a trailer or some bells from elsewhere, if you know what I mean. Lovely, so. Can I just quick cheeky grab these? No. Oh, let's get rid of these bells and see how much <laughs> we should have made from there. So, let's go over there. So, yeah, we're right. We're on the other account, and yeah, 68,800 is needed. So, lovely. So, let's get that taken care of. So, what I'll do is transfer money. 68,000 and 830. I can let that slide. So, fair enough, that's all corrected. That's my mess and that. Because, yeah, I had the wrong configuration on the trader, loaded the bells up, and then when I set to manual, which is this one here, because I actually auto loaded it, and yep, yeah, lost the bell, so that's fine. But now, I don't know why you're against. They always get stuck in this pylon. Don't know why. But yeah, so let's go and grab you. And we'll go and grab these hay bells. And these are our bells, so. Shouldn't have an issue with selling them, I hope. So, right, we've got our hay bells here. So we've got 11 in total to take care of. 6,500 litres, and I'll say. Yeah, about half of these is going to be ours for pure profit, so let's go around and put you down. Can I grab two bells like so? Yes, I can. So, once again, bear me a sec whilst I go and get you up and then sold.
contract work its own, got a couple of grand for his bells and yeah, six grand or whatever it was for the contract. This cost us three one and a half grand, so how much is depreciated? Ooh, four grand. Ah, that's a little steep. So yeah, we're forty-five grand short. But I've got our flower, that's fifteen grand alone. Also some with seed and fertilizer. And a little bit of lime, because yeah. I think we're gonna be done with all the lime work and that because done the required plowing, done the required line work and that, and yeah, also in the time lapse before, the first one, I did go and sell our mulcher and that, because yeah, completely forgot to start the mulch, but six meters wide is not the fastest thing in the world, and you know what, I thought, heck it, let's just go and sell it, so, yeah, a lot of these, yeah, no, I can sell the flower elsewhere on the, like, on the train, get a bit more money for it, but, I think for all this we should have enough afterwards. And yeah, not an issue whatsoever. And the yeah, stick fertilizer and that is herbicide. Alright, that didn't sell, but you know what? We're at the 145 grand mark now to purchase fields. And I'll just keep these four like fertilizer fields and that, especially the herbicide. Didn't really want to sell the herbicides, but I thought mm, if it was that like, desperate for money. But yeah, actually, we've also got eggs now to sell. See, so, yeah, how are they doing at the moment? Eggs, 3,600 and going down. So let's sell whatever eggs we've got now. So, with our old pen, this has got to be what, a couple of months at least. And that is 4,244 liters not too bad. However it is, in what, half a month or so? 2,900 litres, so... Oh yes, yeah, so I'm glad we quadrupled the amount of chickens we got. Also, yeah, with the soybeans, yeah, I completely forgot to mention that, so... Actually, in the end, we got 16,000 litres. We had a bit too much out of here. Since they hold 35,000 litres, I've dumped the rest in here, so... Yeah, can you figure out a way to undo that? Or load it onto a trader once we're done. But yeah, 6,800 years of eggs. And that is not too bad, all things considering. So, right, we are selling the eggs. And how much of a bonus is that going to be for us? Have a look, 170 grand total, so. That was 24 grand for the egg, so that is really profitable. And unfortunately, I was hoping for a plan contract, even a scene contract, in that. However, go to here. It's been potatoes again, so sorry about that. Absolutely thundering at the moment, all of a sudden, the year. If it doesn't really come up in the background, so yeah, that's potatoes, and yeah, that has just been drilled. Lovely, so you know what? I'm gonna purchase you, I'm gonna see if the field needs so it's got no fertilizer, doesn't need plowing. Thank fuck it doesn't. Lime, thank hell for that. So yeah, 55, lovely, so that means we need to either drill, so yeah, I said about doing soybeans, but I'm thinking of what I'll do is 46, 7 and 8, that will be all just grass, and then yeah, I'll just do a massive soybean field. I think let's do that instead. Okay, so yeah, we need to grab the planter, which I've left over here. I think the corn's come along nice. What, 31 grand left? We can do one more contract for the day, and... So yeah, I could do one of these for this month. And then yeah, as we head into the winter... Uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, we could do more contracts than that, so... 
But yeah, I was so hoping to get a cheeky contract on 55, but I guess me being greedy in that with everything and yeah. Uh, so is what it is at the end of the day, so actually you know what I'm gonna try to shut shut up in there because it is absolutely thundering at the moment. Ah uh, so alright, so yeah, go on and close the windows because yeah it's absolutely thundering at the moment. Well yeah, it's twenty five in the morning so as well. Uh, one well, way to wake up, so yeah, go on to purchase more seed and fertilizer, even though we just sold a bunch. Okay, fair enough, I'll admit that was a bit of a desperate move off sending the uh, all the fertilizer and stuff in that, but from now on, I only buy what we need. I won't stockpile anything in that, so there we go. And yeah, I know we can do seed in that, or it's not seed, because you saw beans with our normal, normal drill, but yeah, this is actually faster to do with as well. And also, don't need to cultivate this since it's a direct drill, so and that's the thing. Our other one isn't a direct drill. And yeah, I would love to do grass and that, get just a bunch more silage and that, but that does mean if we do that, we will be in January. Oh, that's February, March, April, May, June, July. Six months, July. Gonna be at the bottom end for the soybean, so yeah, made a executive decision on that. So yeah, we'll do soybeans on this field here. I think yeah, just do this little strip here, turn around. And then yeah, I'll get a worker sentence. We'll go and see the grass ourselves, or at least do the most part of it. Yeah, we've still got the roller in that, so we can roll the fields. But yeah, mulching, I just didn't seem to be worth it in that, so... If I go and grab you... Because what I'll do is, I'll start doing this, I'll do... A couple of pheasants, especially on this section here. I will go... Do, like, two or three strips. But yeah, I don't want to go over the canoe, though. That's going to be a month behind, so... That part won't be drilled with grass. Just because, again, timings with everything that when we need everything to be ready, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'll leave profit on the table, I will admit. Nope, don't the weight down. Christ. So, yeah, let's go and start drilling the grass in. But yeah, still, so we get a lot of grass for this, and. What we can do is convert some of this to hay as well. Because, yeah, we can do hay grass or hay silage and grass silage. And that is four. Yeah, that is. That's going to cover it also. Whatever we get will get produced in a month. So. I think, you know what? Let's do a little one more time lapse here. Get these fields drilled. Then, that's where I think we'll leave it for today.
it is half past one. We are almost done with the grass field. We've done a contract. And we're going to sell said produce. So that is all the contracts done now for the month. So our free contract limit has been reached. And let's see how much money we can get for this because lots of ideas that we could do over the winter. Involving some logging. So that's going to stay here for now because we've got seen contracts but they're for wheat and barley. And also, I just got the worker off on the rolling. Like, yeah, this roller here is so freaking good. So, yeah, I'll say the worker's done about a third of the field so far. Quarter to a third. So, I was going to leave that cracking on. I did do some strips over here so the worker doesn't have any issues turning around. Yeah, so it's going to complete this contract. So, lovely jubbly. Parsnips, cotton, can't do. Fertilizer, we can do if we wish. For now, I will accept that contract. But if you get any better ones popping up for December, then bet your money I'll be on that like a dog on eat. So, yeah, I think we are at a good point now. Because, yeah, plans for the winter is we need money for the forage harvester. So, our corn is going to be a couple of months out before they're chaffable. So yeah, we'll get us rolled over the winter as well. Because yeah, I want to go to... Not sure if I got it. Yeah, I think I've got it enabled. So if we go to our tools, forestry equipment. I want to get like, some of these winches. So 6.6 .6 tons, 8.6 .6 tons. I don't think I've got anything else enabled. So we are going to be limited on what we can do. I'm going to look for some mods and that, see if there's any sort of like old style winches and that, or even something like the XJ series. So yeah, obviously we've got logs at the main farm, so... Well not logs, trees at the main farm. Oops. Nope, let's go to you. So yeah, we've got a couple of trees here we can cut down and that. Ah, uh, yeah, these are like the big like, American elms, think these ones are. No, 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 oaks, so yeah, these can't be cut down manually. And as we learned at the start of the series, try to cut one of these logs down, these ain't going to be worth too much, the Shackbart's hickories. But there is a bunch of trees on 78. So if I, say, head over there now, so those trees over there. So yeah, these trees here, and these are pine, so... I think we can get a tree harvester in that. But again, it's all about the age and time periods, because... I don't think there's going to be... Any of these are... Yeah, they're not going to be suitable. I'll do some research on that. But again, we can't lease. That's going to be the damn side, is... We can't bloody lease any of these, and these are way outside of our price range. Even if they were in year spec, so... So my thinking is, cut these trees down. Tow them over. See, so yeah, I think I should have a look at logs and that. See, so yeah, over the... As you know, thankfully they're going down now. Wood chips is going up. And actually, the price of logs is very consistent, so... Start chopping some of these down, because I think this field is what? 16 grand to purchase, so... I think, you know what? Screw it. Let's purchase that field now. Also, we've got grass here, so we can do a cheeky bit of silage. Even if it's not fertilized or anything like that, because, yeah, only 50% yield bonus. But, yeah, worst case scenario, I'll just get a winch in that, and we'll tow every single tree over to a sawmill and actually is there a sawmill on the map soup factory dairy that's the market tools up over there preserved foods carpentry animal dealer bakery supermarket the piano manufacturer actually where do you sell these logs so logs that can be sold actually everywhere not really on the train, the train's gone down in price, but yep, yeah, so carpentry and sell every container. 
When there is some ill, where's that to? I completely missed it, so... Oh god, so... Sawmill... No, that's the contract field. Sawmill, flash an icon, please. This is somewhere over here. That's a debris crusher. And I overlooked it, so Sawmill is over here. So actually, where we started off the series, that's been, yeah. We came here with our pickup and that. We came off on this very train, so... Again, we do have options. And actually, I do want to inquire. I know we're getting out of funds for it, but can we purchase this? Because if we can get like planks and that, again, more forms of making profit. Nope, <laughs> hundred three grand though. Like even we sell some of our assets. Yeah, fifty two grand, fifteen grand, forty three grand. Maybe if so, the combine that, but yeah, it's gonna be a. F I should say that we sell our crops in June. We sell the first bits of soybeans. Actually, we can purchase the sawmill. I think, but again, it is gonna require a lot of work. So, I think what I'll do is we've got our canoe to do tomorrow. So I'll take that over there now, get that all set up ready, and yeah, next episode, we'll be doing Canola, and as we go into our final year of Series 1 of Vintage Survival, yeah, I think honestly our prospects are looking good, just in terms of profits and that, so, yeah, you've got any ideas, I'm sure, thinking German or American. But I feel for us, it's gotta be reasonable because all the money we're taking over is gonna be used for the farm, so keep that in mind. Yeah, even fields are like, say, rather than like 20 grand for a normal field, if it's like 100 grand, so that's fine. So, yeah, these aren't gonna depreciate too much. And yeah, with all the sites gonna be getting soon, and this should come in two months. <laughs> We are going to be rolling in money, so, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode, if so, smash the button, feel free to down below, if you want to share some, please be my guest, if you're not subscribed to our channel yet, then please consider, but, for what you just do, hope you're going to stay, but for now, it's be far from Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.